Good morning, New Life. I hope you're having a great morning and hopefully you've already had a few cups of coffee before you get into this Devo this morning. For those of you I haven't met, my name is Kevin. I'm the pastor here in Searcy and um, it's an honor to be with you this morning. Uh, I think we've been talking about um, addiction this week and so I'm kind of going to take uh, an angle with you this morning based upon um, my profession and uh, my training as a therapist. And so when we talk about addiction, gosh, there's so many things that come to mind, right? Um, we've all got a terrible story about something that happened to a family member or with a family member. Uh, addiction can completely change the dynamics of a family and make it extremely challenging, especially if you are married to someone uh, struggling in this area. But today, I just want to take my time to talk about a few of the lies that we can get caught up in when we're struggling with addiction. Now, I have not personally experienced um, addiction, but I have worked with hundreds of people who have. And I think as a church, um, we're also always faced with the challenge of how do we speak into the lives of an addict. But I want to give you first just a definition um, of what addiction is. And it's going to, if I can recall it completely, it's, it's kind of wordy. So just hang on with me a minute. Addiction is a pathological connection with a substance or an item um, that ultimately takes control of one's mood and even behaviors. And so anytime we are drawn to a substance so much so that we uh, forget about how important relationships are or careers or our personal values, um, we are falling into a trap where we are going to ultimately give up on some of those things and um, fall completely into a life that is toxic and damaging to ourselves and the people around us. What addiction ends up doing is it changes our, our, our minds. It changes the things that we feel are important. And I want to give you just three examples of, of those things. And if you're struggling with this this morning, um, these are going to be some things that you can use to filter what's going on and just ask yourself, is it really time for me to do something about this? Okay. So the first thing uh, would, would be this. this. This is one of the big lies that comes with um, addiction. And that is, I am the only person who is like this. Okay. Addiction starts as something simple, something that you think you, you can take on, something that you think you can control. Ultimately, we know where it, it goes when we use a rational mind. But it, it somehow parks us in a cul-de-sac where we don't have a way out anymore and we start to process things like, I'm the only person. And this is why that's happening because addiction forces you to keep a secret. So you are isolated mentally, you're isolated in that thought process, you're isolated a lot in that behavior. This is why when you are treating addiction, it's very important to get them to be around people who have also fought this so that they can hear stories and examples of what it looks like to win and come out of this. So if you're feeling that, like I am the only person you know, um, who is experiencing these things. Um, it's, it's time to check your isolation and, and do something about this. The second question is this, that um, we can always struggle with is, um, I am going to be this way forever. This is a lie that often comes with addictive training is once an addict, always an addict. I'm not from that school of thought. And um, uh, sometimes I have to, uh, take flack for that. I just believe as a follower of Jesus, there is a way out. There's a freedom. There's a restoration. There's a complete and full healing that can come to your life simply by turning over 
uh, every place inside of you to the work of the, the, uh, the across. The reason you struggle with this thought of I'm going to be this way forever is because you feel trapped. You feel like there, there's no way out. There's no answer. There's no solution. But a, again, Jesus is so powerful and so strong. Do not forget the power that comes with the God that we, we serve. The, the third question that we can often get trapped in is if I ask for help, I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose my wife. I'm going to lose my husband. I'm going to lose my career. I'm going to lose the respect of my friends and family. And the reason you feel that way is because you think no one's going to understand. No one's going to be able to process why you got yourself in this position in the first place. And that's very tough to take. Um, but you are not by yourself and people are going to understand. And I think you're going to be very surprised at how many people rally around you to help you. And so if you are struggling today in this, I hope these three filters have helped. I'm the only person who is like this. No, no, you're not. I'm going to be this way forever. No, you're not. If I ask for help, I'm going to lose everything. No, you're not. You're going to have people to come around you and the love of the Father. In John chapter 8, verse 36, there's this incredible verse that says, He who the Son sets free is free. And so take some time today to reflect on that. Apply it to your life. Apply it to this area where you do feel trapped and isolated. And then follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Reach out for help. Talk to somebody. Talk to your pastor. Talk to your doctor. Talk to your spouse. And let's make a move forward to get you out of this. Okay? Father, I pray today over someone who might be listening to this diva who struggles with the area of addiction. I pray for freedom over their life, over their thoughts, over behaviors, over this pathological connection. And I just ask you today that the Holy Spirit be stronger in them than the grips of this addiction, that they would ask for help. Please open the right door and introduce them or get them in the hands of the right people to start a journey of freedom. We thank you that in you, we are free and not bound to anything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. God bless. Have a great day.